She is. Void Spirit, I feel like should be able to farm pretty fine with your shield plus having higher base damage, but Beast probably also gets fine. Farm. Maybe you have higher kill threat or something like Quinn, but I don't even know. Like maybe Beast just does fine. I'm going to watch mid quite a bit here. Maybe just trade a farm because axes versus shield. We and, shall see. And, and so, like, on the bottom lane, I mean, where's sort of the, the Venna been sitting for you recently on the, this offlane core role? Do, do, has it been doing well, or are not many teams really doing it anymore? I, it feels very strong. I think it's mostly that's OG that's doing it, but it's yeah. getting banned a lot. And, I mean, it, it's a universal hero, yeah. so it gets crazy scaling yeah, as the game progresses with not just your, you know, not just your your spells, but your actual right-click. You actually become pretty formidable. And, yeah, this ult is just... Yeah, it is crazy. You have amazing talents, too. I actually really like the new talents that he's... Well, new-ish. These things add up. Poison health reduction. Very annoying. I mean, you, you always take the same talents with this build up on, on the offlane Venno, or is there some versatility in decision? I think I've only seen left, left, right. Yeah. I don't think I've seen anyone take the Gale Cleat Crates Play Wards anymore. I don't think you take Play Wards alone. Maybe the Venomous Gale CD could be something you take some games, but health reduction is phenomenal. All right, let's see how this all does kick off. Venno Clock, a very kill hungry lane. There is a Rubik. Probably why they wanted to switch things up is put the Rubik versus the Clockwork lane. This is a strong one. Rubik Bloodseeker is no joke. Keeping people inside of the blood right. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so Celery is going to play down here, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I like it. Let's see how Ace is able to do versus the kind of counter pick of this long grid. With Fishman at his side. They'll do okay. I, don't, I just, yeah. I think is going to have enough sustain in this lane. I think so too. I think this is one of the. Yeah, I think some may. This. Yeah, a lot of melee carries might struggle, but I think Bloodseeker is probably one of the ones that struggles the least. He misses two last hits there, though. He does. He's going to take a beating. They're getting a, a good bit of damage done to him here. I'm try and stay near the creep wave and make sure he doesn't get hit by all those battery assaults. Then we gotta make sure he doesn't miss those yet. I think I said only like three. <laughs> so definitely wants to get that heal kick in there. Yeah, I'm 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 looking at mid. Oh hey, yeah, I think Beast actually just is fine. He's, he just farms. Yeah, I mean it's well, very satisfying to see us with Beast Master, right? It's so nice. Nice animation. Yeah, and then you can use I guess your the board same Void Spirit does also have a very nice animation. Yeah. Celery. I, I, can they get the deny? Ooh. They can't. Katsomi's gonna be able to get him. And and, uh, He's also going to be in a, a bit of trouble. He might just dead. be dead. He is. They'll go. Okay, both of them. Okay, Time to kidding. strike there. <laughs> Double kill for Katsuomi. They go at it here on these early levels. And not at a point where they can deal with that. Here, there's nope. both of them going down. And top lane, Tofu. He might be in trouble as well. He is going down. They've, they've got him. All right, Entity. Off the mark here with three kills. Strong lane setups. Getting early aggressive on Duraccio when he was still like level one. Yeah, they are able to punish this Bloodseeker. Duraccio got to be a bit more careful. He has struggled, like you said, quite a bit inside some of these lanes. Yesterday in particular, we saw some. Tofu knows what to do. DP stop, hides himself, doesn't want to get glimpsed away. Nice kill to start things off. 3-0. Toby, I believe now that is a bracer. Feels super good now that you can do this on these offlane Venos. You used to have to do it kind of in the past anyway, but now it actually is amazing because you're universal. And it does mean that they're going to be able to get themselves to Lotus as well for the next potential go. Yeah. Um, yeah having these early stats makes it unlikely that Duraccio and Celery are ever really going to, to be able to get oh. aggressive themselves on these early levels. It's going to feel pretty yeah. bad trying to chase down this Veno. Cute little play there from Duraccio. He pulls the aggro of the creeps out of the tower range to try to hold the creep wave here so he can keep that farm going. Toby steps up a bit far. Glyph on the wave. I didn't. I don't know. If, I think that was a bottom glyph, not a mid glyph. Top lane. Or top. Ace gets the kill on Fishman, but will die for this. Tofu. Uh, Watson. Not going to get him. Tofu's able to back off in time. So Ace Watson. killing off Fishman, but yeah, Watson, he, he's living to tell the tale up there. Yep. He is missing some last hits on Watson, but I think it's because they're going for the kill threat. They're hitting and whittling down this Darkseer so that they can go for it. 
nicely done. Are so we are starting to see Duraccio though with the lane positioning. They're doing it. I mean, again, these lane this lane positioning it really does matter when you have it this close to your tower. It's able to get that solid free farm now up to 16-7. Double Gale connects. But he should be just fine. Quinn. He's to accept his death and go for the boar. He'll get it. It's a little bit of money for Quinn on the way out. Well, yeah, nice movement from Fishman. Allows Storm Stormer to take Quinn down. You know, so Great far, rotation. pretty much dead even on the CS in this mid matchup between the two of them. We're getting a kill like that. That's going to give that chance for Storm Stormer to get his level six online first. Yep, and he's going to be able to get that power rune, or water rune, sorry, down bottom. So he's five to one right now. This could actually leave inevitably into another kill, perhaps onto the Void Spirit, since Stormer is going to be getting that six. They could look to move nice. to top. Ace. There's a glimpse available. I mean, but he's he's got no escape here. He's got the stick, but yeah, indeed dragged back. Nice fear. Nice just the Lotus, and it's yeah, it's not enough to keep him alive. Another kill here for the safe lane two of Entity. These oh, cool. they're, they're just I'm... finding kills all across the map here, Entity. And I've never seen that. I've never seen the Lone Driver's Techies thing before, though. But yeah, he can get the Savage Roar mid air on the Techies to stop the blast off. Cool. Doing Big a... kills here, six to one. Yeah, just punishing. Oh, and Ace. He's, he got glimpsed. He got glimpsed. It's been a tough start for him. Tofu was ready for the glimpse earlier, but Ace he was not, not fully focused, it seems. Straight in and straight out. And it's and it's taking him time as well to get back to land. Of course, with this build that they went for aggressively, you know, doesn't have the surge. So no. he wasn't able to save himself earlier. And was also not able to get back to lane that quickly. So a good amount of space for Watson. You know, he said earlier he was kind of slow on the CS, but now he's getting the space to now catch up. Full. Yep. And Fishman, he's actually been giving... Quite a bit of XP to Watson, too. Watson's nearly six, Fishman level four, so a very high level lone druid now. Even holding on the point for the spirit bear just so he can do the double root trick. And Quinn, he's getting whittled down. He's axe spam. It's around the power runes, too. Quinn, not quite level six. He'll hit it now. He's actually going aggro. Stormer. He's got the roll. He's going to get lifted up, but he's got backup of Fishman. Jump forward from Tofu. Tofu's able to clip him. We'll get in and take down Tommy's Storm here. Stormer. See if Quinn can get out of this, though. He's run out of ways to, to escape. Katsuami's going to be able to clean up one of them. Diamond uh, with the haste ring. They've got the glints back onto Tofu. Cogs are out. They're able to trap Tofu. Fishman and Katsuami. See if they can finish him off. Tofu on the oh, high ground. He's able to turn. No Tofu's going to live. It is actually Katsuami that goes down. Fishman on the retreat. Uh, Celery will have Mango in a fade pot in a second, but Fishman's able to back off far enough in time. But uh, Tofu able to turn and, uh, and find something out of that trade at the end of it. Blood Grenade, baby. The Blood Grenade plus the Sticky keeps them far enough there for a second so he can actually survive on Tofu. Bottom, Duraccio, ticking low. He'll be okay. Out of the cause, having the slowest Wisdom of the starts here, Duraccio. Oh, and the Wisdom runes again. To Fishman, he's running over, but Tofu's already got it, and Fishman's actually low enough to perhaps get killed here. The bomb's on top of him. That Tofu should have this kill easy. Yeah, he's got him. All right, a Wisdom Rune and a kill, solo kill for Tofu. That's going to put him uh, on a good path towards his six at a good time. Yeah, that's big. Ace, Vanguard is completed, so is a lot safer up top versus that lone druid. And Celery, okay, confidently going in aggressively to slow down this Beastmaster a bit here. They're trying to pressure mid. Four to seven, very active early game. Bottom Duraccio is able to get away. Thinking about turning back in on this. I mean, Toby's pretty low. They get the lift up. I mean, they're, they're going to... You know, they're teasing around with the idea of Toby's got the chance to throw the Gale back out of them. They're actually very speedy Celery. right now. He'll be okay. Actually, maybe not. It's going to be close. He's, he's dead. Might have to deny him. Yeah, you got to deny him. Oh! He's gone. You're right. They He, he did need to... Adraccio! He's going to go for the TP out, but they've got He's him. He's dead too. A double kill for Toby. Okay. Mid. I mean, they're in. Win. On top of Tofu. Tofu's going to try and jump out. He'll make it away. Axe is not going to catch him. But Entity. They... It. Ooh, no. no. Tofu's going to be fine. But they, yeah, the, these kills, I mean, Gaming Gladiators there are having a rough laning stage here against Entity. I, I, you know, look really at this farm are. as well. Watson's getting all, all the space in the world now. He's top farm on the Lone Druid. 
absolute free farm. Toby getting great levels too since he just gets a double kill like that. He's level 7. Tough for them to maybe go down and contest. It doesn't feel good to you for you to go down and contest this Venno too because even if he dies, he's he's happy. Yeah, and that this, this is the thing big. as well about Entity's lineup. You know, the, the group up, the potential, right? If these heroes hit, hit their first sort of timing, if they start going for these five-man pushes, it's not going to be easy for Gladiators to turn up, especially with like a... You know, Duracho's Bloodseeker, due to how tough of a start he's had, he's just not going to be ready to present himself in the team fights. No, he's so poor, really. Not even quite level 6. Celery, again, also dead. Does get the deny. They do this, this time. time. he will. Or something. But anytime someone shows, I mean, it's a Gale into just instantly dead. Anyone who gets Gale. They're going to make a move. Quinn and Tofu looking to try to push this Venomancer out of the lane. Duracho probably calling for it. He's probably like, guys, I'm not getting much. Toby spotted. They heard it. How does Entity punish? There's a lot of stacks here being farmed right now. Ace, he might lose all of this. And they might actually just take his life too. I think they will. They step up. He'll drop the wall, Ace. Gets the vacuum out of the two of them, but Ace is gone. And, and Stormers took it all. Did he actually get most of the last CS? He against took, the he took all of it. He did. Yeah, he made sure. He, that's, he wasn't even hitting the hero. He was completely focused on the stack. That's halfway, more than halfway to the Agonims. He's pretty much three components on it now for Storm Stormer. Fantastic start for Entity. Quinn. He's gonna go for Double fish jumps. Man. That's gonna get caught in the static storm. If they got Tanky. any further control, they've got the raw. They don't have the damage. Quinn's fine. And now Quinn can turn for Storm Stormer, especially with Drasho turning up, drops the rupture. No escape for Storm Stormer. Quinn gets the double. And Katomi might just get brought down here too. A sticky bomb. Will latch. But Quinn takes it. He away. wants it. Triple kill for <laughs> Quinn. All right, Quinn, Quinn's ready to carry them out of this sort of tough start. Yeah, they're back. Huge stuff. Tofu, he's quite. The two supports are pretty rich on the side of gaming. And Quinn totally catches back up. And even Duraccio gets involved with an early rotation coming in. Watson still, of course, having that really good game, but a good recovery here for gaming. Stormstormer. Quinn's up. in. He's ready to dive in for these kills. Gets the setup with the remnant into the blood right. TP's coming in from Entity. at Storm Stormer. He's already dead. As Quinn Tommy. gets another. Astral steps back up over towards Kataomi. More kills set up here by Quinn. Watson's TP'd in. See what Watson he can really get in return. This. But the remnant grabs onto the bear. Glimpse in two. See which one of the two of them they're able to target. Fishman. Waiting for an opportunity. I mean, it doesn't look like he'll go... I mean, he's, he's, even if he goes for it, the static storm's still in cooldown for 10 seconds, so hard to catch anyone. He's going to yeah, go for tofu. for tofu. He's got Taser and Pavis, though. He's tanky. He's able to turn and a bomb down on the Fishman. Quinn can go back in as well. Dracho's already behind the tower. They dive and they take down Watson before he's able to get the ult off. Two oh, more kills for Quinn. As gaming gladiators, they are completely nullifying that early lead that Entity had. With these moves, yeah, Gaming Gladiators, then out 2k lead, and Quinn, he's, he's taking the game away with him. I mean, a beautiful place from Gaming, but very bizarre plays really coming out from Entity. Now they're going to lose their triple stack, too. It's a blood-raged Rubik, not something you see too often, but when he has axes, sure. They won by one, port in and die, Owen. That was very questionable from Entity. Even Toby TP's in after the fight is totally done to hold off the tower, but... Damage is mostly done there. I mean, Quinn, a big hit from gaming. Quinn's getting so much. One, yeah. one thousand got ahead of anyone right now. And Ace just sat top the whole time, right? Like, he was like, "I'm not joining. I'm just gonna." Now I have a lane. I'm gonna free farm it. He's pretty much caught up with the course. Yeah. That is a huge hit. As they Entity didn't need him. Not, they didn't need him. Yeah. Yeah, Entity cannot one by one TP in like that. That was literally like Beastmaster TPs, then Disruptor TPs, then Lone Druid TPs, then Venomancer TPs. It was. Yeah. They cannot do that versus a team like Gaming Gladiators. Yeah, I think just one of those situations where because of the early lane start, Entity, they really felt they were individually stronger than they were. Duraccio yep. will be Good jumped. Catch. The Rupture's already thrown down onto Fishman, so setup's there for Celery to clean up Fishman. Katsumi, they're going to find him. Celery, quick with the glimpse, catches him in the final moments, brings him back after the TP. So more glory set up for Quinn, godlike, 13 minutes in. He has gotten every last hit, huh? Actually godlike. I feel like he got most of those in like. What, like I'm just looking at the kills. Yeah, he got like every well, single one. Last couple of minutes, yeah. Yeah, since like what the. At like the eight minute mark or so and on, he's gotten every single one of the kills for his team.
2K lead now, gaming. Super comfortable position. Stormstormer. He's still very close to the Aghanims, but they've been slowed down massive. What, I'm just looking at the kill speed. Yeah, he's got like every single well, one. Last couple of minutes, yeah. Yeah, since like what the... At like the eight minute mark or so and on, he's gotten every single one of the kills for his team. 2K lead now, gaming. Super here now. Items being picked up. Gaming. Getting the ball together. Ace now can get involved with this team too. He's got it. He's got a mech. I mean, it hurts so much those last few moves. Gaming yep, Gladiators. They're smoking. They're able to hit Entity hard again. Then this <gasps> lead's going to be very hard to redeem. And Quinn, he's got, a, he's got an arcane room ready for the next and they play. See, they see Stormstormer. He's got to run. There's a stolen glimpse. And it's into the telekinesis. They're able to lift him up. Stormstormer will turn. Gets the roar off onto Quinn. But there's no escape for him. It's just another one for Gaming Gladiators. As Entity, they are so quickly losing any sort of control on this game. They didn't get rid of the vision. That ward is full duration around the ancient area from Tofu, from the earlier invasion. They just waltz in. It's a free kill. The stolen glimpse coming into play. And he's getting completely outplayed in these last yeah. few minutes. The maneuvering, the, everything really from Gaming Gladiator is just that much better now after the laning phase. And now, yeah, as I said, Ace can get involved consistently with the team because he has great buddies to Ion Shell. So now with that mech being finished up early on, they've got... Quite a lot more team fight in comparison to Entity. Playing back foot when you're playing Disruptor is never a good feeling. Desso, I believe, is done for Watson. So still, the timings are going to hit now. Stormstorm, I believe, Agnims, Watson, Desso, and a pipe on Toby. So now it would be time for them to try to take a head-on fight with this one. But are they going to be able to versus Gaming, who is now incredibly formidable? Quinn. Just no. takes out some boars. Yeah, full pipe on Toby, so maybe... Maybe. Some way to, to sort of protect them against this, this incredible burst that... Gaming Gladiator's throw at them. Stormer! Quinn, he's just in! He's in on a storm! Stormer, 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 does it stand a chance? The static storm on the field, it's there. On to Quinn. Watson's got the Too bear tanky. on top of him. Hook shot forward. Quinn getting a little low. Fear pushback as well, but it's not enough. Quinn is able to live. Katomi to go down. Double kill for Quinn. As Entity, Watson. they've got to back away for the rupture. It's there into the blood right. They're focusing Watson's bear first. They'll kill it off. The bear's gone. Doraccio gets the last hit too. Full heal. They might be able to dive in for more. They are. Quinn jumps in. Another astral step. Another kill. Triple kill for him. They're ready to go for more. Fishman, he tries for the TP out, but they're going to be able to catch him. Outplay after outplay after outplay. Stormstormer gets too far up. He gets initiated, dies instantly. They don't have their mid for the fight. And Quinn, they throw the spells on him, but after this god leg getting all these kills, he is so tanky. He withstands everything. And then, yeah, Duraccio. He might have died, but I think, yeah, last hit the bear. I think he healed for over 1,000 health from it. Or close to 1,000 health from it. As game, I mean, massively now in the favor of gaming as Entity, things have crumbled and crumbled and crumbled. I mean, how do you pull yourself together as a team after these back-to-back -back events around this mid area? It's got, it's got to be feeling pretty horrific, right? You, you had such a good laning stage, and then the coordination around these mid movements it's just crumbled every single time. Losing another one to Tofu, finding another kill. They need someone else to be the frontliner. Like, the way that Stormstormer is playing, that's where Toby has to be in that last fight in particular. They can't have the Beastmaster get gone on first. It's got to feel tough here for him to see. Yeah, now it's game is just incredibly difficult at this point because they can just eviscerate these frontline targets with their mix damage. It's not like it's just magical. So Toby, yeah, he has pipe to drop to block a good amount of that, but these Void Spirits don't do just magical. They do mostly physical, in fact, when they go this type of route. So, yeah, he just, you can just jump in, kill a target, jump out probably on Quinn in most situations now at this point. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah, literally right after lanes. Gaming definitely has shown a bit of bit more weakness than in the past in the lanes, I think. I think most lanes in, like, the last two months or something, they were kind of dominating. They are losing some lanes, but their mid-game, I mean, especially this game, the early mid-game is just dominated. I mean, what's, what's the call next for Entity? 
after those last few fights have gone like that? Are you are you just saying, guys, we've just got to let them take like this tier two around the mid? We, we don't want to be fighting around here until we've got our, uh, our next item online. But well, I'm I'm not sure what the next item, unless it's like a BKB mm -hmm. for the Beastmaster that's going to make him actually just survive the jumps. It's just not easy for them to make moves at this point, even though they're playing this vision lineup. Uh, but I think the most important for them, the, the thing for them to do is play around your vision, look for when heroes are split up at this point and try to get pickoffs. I think head-on fights might be too difficult, especially when Duraccio has BKB. I'm just not seeing them have damage to really kill these heroes quick enough. Especially now, I mean, Ace is going to have pipe too after the creeps. This is, I'm not sure, Entity. All the lanes are constantly shoving in onto them. They have to try to contest this Roche. This could be the best option for them. Now they've got Blink on Storm Stormer, so he, he no longer okay. has to be sort of on the front as has been punished last few times in these fights. Does mean he's squishy though. Not going for the BKB first after the Agonims. Toby, lead the charge. Okay, good. I want to see Toby running in. They get a good Blink reveal with the Beastmaster Roar. Let's see. BKB's done for Bloodseeker now, though. Damage is pretty limited uh, if they on don't, the side of Entity. If they don't get a clean initiation, they're just going to get destroyed. They're going to go for the Roar onto the Techies. Okay. See if they can kill Tofu. The wall's down. Tofu's still alive. Finally goes down. But now Quinn and Duraccio, they're ready to fight. They've cleaned up Storm Storm. And Tofu's going to come in with the buyback. Watson was able to find Celery as well with the bear. They get, Quinn, they get a couple be of them. So they can get Quinn. Quinn's trying to turn to take down the bear, and he'll do so. That's the bear gone. Quinn's able to ask for Tofu. 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 Leaps in. Gets in on top of the three of them. It's going to be Fishman and Katomi going down. Watson also to fall. As Tofu comes in hot there with the buyback. And make sure that this is yet again going to be another fight that Entity is going to feel rough about turning up for that. It was a pretty good fight, too, until that point. What a buyback from Tofu. And Quinn just, he's too, t I mean, he ate so many spells. I think I think he connected like a four-man or five-man resident pulse because he had a humongous barrier built up there. A decent connection from when they're behind like this for Entity, but yeah, Topu's buyback. I mean, that's the, that's the thing, right? It's, it's always going to feel a bit awkward, though, when you're revealing like this Blink Roar onto a support and onto a support that does have buyback. Yep. It's not going to be quite enough uh, for them to sort of get a grasp back on this game. But tough for you to really, you know, you don't, you don't always know stuff like that that it's going to be coming out, right? You know, this buyback from a techies. Them, the fact that they still have their tier one top actually makes this easier for him because he can actually just TP back into the fray, That's right? That's true, sure. Because sure. it, it all makes, there, yeah. it makes a big difference. The tower's actually not been touched at all. Pretty big deal. So yeah, great buyback. Let me see here. Quinn, it's, it's looking like maybe he can drop down. It's close to the pulse thing, but then boom. Tofu lands it beautifully. Stormstormer being stalked. Celery. Gets soloed. All right. Sentry Ward was down. A celery punished there for being a little cheeky with the way he was trying to sneak in on them. Yeah. The one thing about the Aghanim well, is it does a ton of damage still as Ace. He's he, in. I mean, he drops the wall there for an attempt on Fishman. That, that, that's going to be a wall that's uh, on a little bit to waste. So, uh, Entity, something to, to look up about for them. Yep. Coming small. Arcane Rune spawns bottom. Quinn. Going to be very happy with that one. Level 15 has been hit after the last fight. And yeah, he's now Pipe. And the Greaves are done. These auras. You don't need to block so much. They have so much protection for each other. Pavis, Greaves, Pipe, Medallion, etc. Keeping their cores enabled. Keeping the fights going. Watson. His growth has just stagnated so much because they haven't been able to win a fight. Even though he did get that good farm in the early game, he's not able to get many kills. Just three kills for him. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Duraccio. Well, they're gonna jump for him. But Watson under the tower. Watson's just immediately blown he's gone. up. They get under the tier two and they're able to just blow him up. And they're chasing maybe for more. Stormstormer is still ruptured. Ace. Oh, it's a good vacuum under the two, but the remnant won't quite catch. The whole the the, the boars there. Ready to block it. Quinn, Quinn wants he's more. still diving in. They get the Astral Seven on the Fishman. He'll turn Static Storm. They'll use the Roar onto Duraccio. Do they have the damage, though, to kill this Bloodseeker? Duraccio, he's going to nope. be fine. He's healing up. Jump four from Tofu. In onto Katsomi. They'll dive in. Take down Toby. Triple kill. GG. And they'll tap out. GG is called 23 minutes in.
Yeah, even Gladiators, and um, that that sped up so fast. I mean, you look back, what well, sort of the first 10 minutes, right? It was, it was like, okay, Entity, great lanes, great early kills, 